Okay, Saturday shift, glossy eyed with a coffee. Right, morning. Morning, ladies and gents. Okay, so today, the Saturday shift, we're gonna start off with some mobilization, some stretching, and we're gonna be cracking with some glute work this morning, and then we'll get into it proper, proper shift the body. So, where we are now, I've got to put this coffee down. <laughs> right, so for the mobilization, what I'd like you to do is your hands on your hips, and then we're going to mobilize our legs, drawing big round circles. Big round circles. And I'm going to be doing like countdowns so that we're kind of all going on the same, same rate, same level, same speed. So it's five. Uh, sorry, change legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, so I want you to get one leg up, right? And then I want you to draw an A. So draw an A. And I want you to draw an A three times. Draw an A three times. And when you draw an A three times, draw a B. Draw a B three times. Draw a B three times. This is all about your hip mobilization. Get them glutes, start to ignite, fire them up. And then once you do your three A's and your three B's, we go to the other leg and we do three A's and three B's. Yeah? Sorry about, I'm gonna get my, I'm going a bit slow. So I'm gonna catch up with my B's. So I'm gonna do my B's. So we're gonna do three A's and then three B's. Awesome. And now what I would like you to do is stand quite wide and with one foot, lift the heel so that you've only got your toe on the floor. And then we're gonna go into toe tap with knee tap. So toe tap, knee tap, toe tap, knee tap, toe tap, knee tap. And we're gonna go 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we switch sides and we want to get the knee to the hand. We don't want to get the hand to the knee. So we go 10, nine, eight, yes, George. Seven, and Curtis. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we get our hands on our hips and we go right down and then we mobilize right round. So imagine yourself trapped in a barrel and you're just scraping the side of that barrel all the way through. So your side, your back, your side, your front, scraping that barrel. Any side that you want to rotate in, please feel free to do so. And then switch rotation whenever you want. So five, four, three, two, one. And then big hand mobilizing. Big arm rolls, big arm rolls, back, and we go five, four, three, two, one, and then we go forward. We go five, four, three, two, one, and then what we do from here is we lift our hip up, so we get our knee up, and from having our knee up, we go over, over and back. So knee up, and then I should say under and back. Knee up, under and back. So we're now getting those stabilizers to kick in and you're going to be very pain, challenged. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we go again, we get the knee up and then we go into that sprinter stance. Get the knee up, sprinter stance. And we go five, four, three, two, one. And now statically, get one leg out, leave the other leg behind with the heel climbing on the floor. Once the heel is planted on the floor, just with your hips, lean forward. Lean forward so you get a nice calf stretch. And we're gonna hold that stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we switch sides. Lean forward. And we go five, four, three, two, one. And then from there, we are gonna squat down and we are gonna hold. We're all gonna hold for five, four, 
three, two, one. We're gonna go up and then we're gonna go straight back down again. And we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then while we're up here now, we're gonna get one arm up and then we're gonna lean over, stretch, bring the arm down, bring the other arm up, lean over, stretch. And we're gonna continue that for another 20 seconds. So in your own pace, one arm up, lean over. Get the arm down, bring the arm up, lean over. You got 15 seconds left. One arm up, lean over. Get the arm down, get the arm up, lean over. You have got seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wicked, right. So now just get some knee lifts and I will explain what we're going to be doing. So we're going to start with the glutes and the hips. So you're going to need to get on the floor with a mat and have a chair quite close or something that can give you the little raise. Don't need it right now, but you're going to need it. So I'm going to get into position here. And the first thing we're going to do is call a bridge tap with a hollow hold. This is all about the abs and the glute. So what you will do is put your hands either side of you, put your feet, kneel, get into a, into a bent knee position and then keep your soles of your feet flat, glute bridge like that. And we're going to hold the glute bridge for three, two, one. We go down and then the arms go up, the legs extend and you hold. And I'm going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. So now in sequence, we're now going to go for the glute hold. So we lift the glutes up and then we hold them for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the glute down, raise the arms up, elevate the legs and the arms and we hold in that hollow stance, in that hollow position. Three, two, one, bring your feet down, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Then we bring the glute down, raise the arms over, get the legs raised, bring the arms up, and we're gonna hold that. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one, and then one more time, we're gonna hold that glute. We're gonna hold that glute for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the glute down, bring the arms over, bring the legs up, bring the arms up, hollow hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, well done. Now, you're gonna need that step up. Oh shit. Right, I've gotta get up for this. So you need a step up or a chair, and you're gonna place it right at the end. So I'm gonna wait until you've all got that. And you wanna put your feet on it. Okay. Now what we are going to do is interlock our hands and we're going to cushion our neck and we're not going to bring our chin into our chest. We're going to leave a golf ball size gap between the chin and the chest and we're going to crunch up and we're going to hold that crunch and then we're going to go down and we're going to glute bridge. And then we're going to go down, crunch, go down, glute bridge. So, we're gonna go for a countdown of the crunches and the glute bridge. We're gonna do five of them for five seconds. So, we crunch, five, four, three, two, one. Come down with a crunch, lift the glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the glute down, crunch up. Five, four, three, two, two. Come down, bring the glute up. Five, four, three, two, Three, glute down, crunch up. Five, four, three, two, three. Bring yourself down, bring the glute up. Five, four, three, two, three. Bring the glute down and then crunch up. Five, four, three, 
two, four. Bring your upper body down, bring your glute up. Five, four, three, two, four. Bring the glute down and then crunch up. Keep your elbows spread right out. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the head down and then bring the glute up. Five, four, three, two, five. And now what we do is we keep the glute up. So we get into the bridge and then we crunch. We crunch, we crunch for another 15 seconds. Crunch. Do not force yourself up with your hands. Keep your neck nice and firm. Try and keep a golf ball size gap between your chin and your chest. Your range of movement on the crunch is gonna be incredibly slow, incredibly short. So we want to go for another five, four, three, two, awesome. Right, so now we have the bench. We have yourself now in a kneeling position and with that kneeling position, bring your feet up, keep resistance on the upper body, go down, close to the stepper, close to the chair, whatever you've got, and then you're going to press up. Make sure that your feet, make sure that your feet are always elevated, always elevated in your own pace. Do not lock out at the top, do not touch at the bottom. If that means that it's a very short range of movement, then let it be, because we are interested in continuous tension, continuous movement, flow, let the body flow. We have got another 20 seconds of movement of this bad boy. Try and keep the elbows in line with your wrists. Do not flare your elbows out. We don't want to cause any shoulder problems. So we've got another 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and I would like you, if you have, does anyone got any dumbbells? We need dumbbells or you need a kettlebell just to lift. So I'm gonna get dumbbells. And we're gonna get back in the position that we were for the glute bridge with the step up. Okay, so what we want to do here, we are going to be glute bridging and we are going to be chest pressing at the same time. So we're going to lie down, get our feet on the stepper or the feet on the chair or the feet on the sofa and we are going to glute bridge right now. Glute bridge, hold that bridge and we are going to chest press for 10 seconds, we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you raise the, 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 the dumbbells up, you hold them up, bring the glute down, bring the glute up. And we're gonna go into this mobilization glute lift for another 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're gonna remain in the glute bridge position and we are going to press, press those dumbbells for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the dumbbells up and we're gonna glute bridge, lift, for another 10, nine, hold it at the top, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift the bridge, keep the bridge on, go for the last 10 seconds of pressing, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, don't bang your shoulder, your elbows on the floor, keep it nicely controlled, three, two, one, you raise it up, Get the dumbbells up and then glutes. Bridge them, lift them, hold them tight. We got another five, four, three, two, and well done, well done.
have a breather, have some water or a coffee. <laughs> and what we're gonna need is a kettlebell if anyone's got a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, then what we're gonna use is dumbbells. Nice.
two, well done. Right, so you're going to need the stepper or the couch or the chair that you had in the beginning. And you're gonna swap the kettlebell for dumbbells or keep the kettlebell, depending on what equipment you've got. We're gonna have two dumbbells. If you've got one, that's fine. You're gonna put one foot, you're gonna put one foot on the stepper and then you're gonna lunge out with the other leg and you're gonna go into a Bulgarian split lunge, also known as a Bulgarian split squat. And when you come up, after, your, after I count down from five, we're going to bicep curl with these dumbbells, shifting that body from lower to upper activity. Five, four, three, two, one, and then we curl. And then again, get the balance right, George. And we go for another five, four, oh well, three, two, I'm gonna give myself another five seconds because I let myself down, which means I let you down. So five, four, three, two, and then we swap legs, swap legs. And then we're gonna just lunge down, no curl, just lunge down, no curl. Lunge down, and we go five, four, three, two, one, and then we start with a curl. So we lunge down, curl, lunge down, curl. And we've got another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then get into your stance like a sumo stance. And we go, bring the dumbbells in, and we go sumo, deadlift, followed by Dumbbell curl, sumo deadlift, dumbbell curl. So there's going to be a little bit of arm transition from the outside of the thigh to the middle of your body. And then we're gonna curl it. Outside of the thigh goes in between the legs. In between the legs goes outside the thigh. And then we dumbbell curl. And at the same time, we are sumo deadlifting, getting the adductors, getting the hips, getting the glutes, all the while transitioning to the upper body, making the biceps work, the shoulders work, the lats are involved, traps are involved, lower back is involved. Keep on going. Keep the knees in line with the toe. Keep the knees in line with the toe. We have got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get a narrower stance. Curl, squat, press. Narrower stance. Curl, squat, press. Narrower stance. Curl, squat, press. Yes. Curl, squat, press. Awesome. Well done. Well done, excellent. Well done, Jess. Well done, Nina. Fantastic, well done, Danny. Awesome work. Well done. Keep it all going. Well done, Sandra, well done. Awesome, curl, squat, press. We're gonna go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Well done, well done. Breathe get yourself some water. Well done, everyone right? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right. So, really like dumbbells, or get yourself two plates, up to you. So when I mean plates, I mean your own personal dinner plates, but you can do this with dumbbells. And what we are going to do here is concentrate on the shoulders. So we're gonna go into a side lateral raise like this. We're gonna bring it down to the front of the thigh. We're gonna go for a front eye level raise like that. 
And we're gonna do that for 15 seconds where we alternate from side lateral to front. And this just gets continued. So just follow my lead. So at the moment, it's side lateral raise going down to a front eye level raise. And we go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you go, turn, I'm, I'm turning. You're gonna bring your upper body down and then you're gonna go into rear shoulder. Rear shoulder raise, rear shoulder raise. That's it, keep your chest level to the floor. Bring your elbows up as if you're elbowing someone off you. Make sure that your thumb is pointing towards the camera. Do not have your thumb pointing up to the ceiling. When you are raising and you are at your fullest raise contraction, make sure that your thumb is level and facing your camera. We go for another five, four, three, two, one. And now we're gonna go sky level. Sky level, going right down with control. Drive up sky level, going down with control. Drive up sky level, going down with control. You're gonna get another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you're gonna go eye level only, eye level only. And we're gonna get another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We go sky level and we go eye level. Sky level and then we go eye level. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And we're gonna add in a side lateral, side lateral, eye level, sky level, side lateral. Eye level, sky level, angled side lateral, front eye level, sky level. Yes, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we bend over, we go three, one, two, three. We come up, angle, eye, sky. Then we go down, three, one, two, three, angle, eye, sky. Then we go down, one, two, three, angle, eye, sky. We go into our fourth one, one, two, four, side angle, front, eye, sky. Then we go last five. One, two, five. Side angle, eye level. And we go sky level. And well done, well done. Awesome work. Right, so we're gonna get a bit mobilized now. So we're gonna bring the heart rate up. We're gonna do some calisthenic, cardio, pulse raising. Keep that heart elevated. So what we're going to do now is, if you can see me, right, we are going to go into mountain climbers. After mountain climbers, we're going to go into steps. After steps, we're going to do box jump squats. So I will show you all of that, but we're going to go in flow. So the first thing we're going to do is 30 seconds mountain climbers. When you are ready, we, if you can't do mountain climbers, just go with little steps, little steps. So we go, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. If you can't do the mountain climbers, just do steps, just do steps. Good. You have done 10 seconds, which means you've got 20 left. Keep the mountain climbers pumping, climb them. Get the knees right in, knees right in. Get your legs extended, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and now we step. So we're going to just step, step 30 seconds, and we go, and we go. 
Nice, get that flow, get that rhythm. Get the flow, get the rhythm. Bring the knees right up, get on that stepper. If you don't have a stepper, just get the knees right up, swapping over on the floor. 15 left, 15 left. Nice rhythm, get that rhythm. Awesome, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and now we're gonna go right down into step, squat, box jump. So we box jump, squat, box jump, squat. Coming from the squat, jump into the box. Yes! Yes! Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, nice! Squat, jump, squat, jump, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, well done, well done. Breather, water, awesome work. So, We're gonna lie on, sorry, we're gonna lie on the floor. We're gonna have the stepper or the chair or the couch or whatever setup you've got. And we're gonna have it so that our feet are on it. So we wanna get the heels on it. And from here, one leg goes up and then we swap it over with the other leg. Tap, lift, tap, lift, and get that rhythm. All about the rhythm in your own pace. So again, another heart raiser and hip flexor worker. We're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, bite down through this pain, five, four, Three, two, put your feet on the stepper, put your hands out, and then crunch up with your hands out. Crunch up with your hands out. And we go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and put your feet on the stepper. Glute, thrust, raise, Bridge, and then from here, fingers out to your thigh, crunch, crunch with the glute, activated, good, keep it going, keep it going, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, bring the glute down, bring the arms over, out stretch your legs, but keep your feet on the stepper, raise your feet and your hands together. And we go into the body fold, fold, go right back down. So we meet our fingers to our toes. At least that's what we are thinking. So for this one, we're gonna go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and we're gonna get on our side with our feet on the stepper. So you can have your elbows on the floor, get your feet on the stepper, put your hands on the hip, and plank it. Side plank, and we're gonna side plank for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna turn on our front, put the elbows on the floor. If you cannot do this, do not worry about having the plank. Just put your knees on the floor and you can plank that way. So our feet are stabilized now on the step bar and we are planking. Your elbows have got to be directly underneath your armpits. We're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we're going to go to the other side. Put the feet on the stepper, put the hands on the hips, put your elbow directly underneath your shoulder, and side plank, side plank to ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and now put yourself back on your backs, bring your feet up so that your knees are bent, and put your hands out, leave your hands out, raise your arms up, extend your legs out, bring your knees back in, extend your legs out, bring your knees back in, and we go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Keep your legs raised. Bring your arms up and crunch it again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep it going. It's going to burn. Three, two, and relax. Well done. Well done. So one more glass. You're going to need a kettlebell. One kettlebell. And we're going to do a few things with the kettlebell. So hydrate yourselves. Right then. So, one kettlebell. We're going to concentrate on the pelvic tilt. Concentrate on tilting this part here. Hips, mobilize, and we're gonna feed the kettlebell through the legs. Feed the kettlebell through the legs. Catch it on the other side. Stand up, feed it through the other side. Stand up, feed it through the other side. The standing up part is the one that is integral for development of your inner core. It's fundamental for that hip flexion. And also, it's fundamental for you to steer away from danger. If you stay in the bent over position whilst you are figure eighting, then there is chances that you are gonna speed up, use momentum, lose control, and then smash your knee with a kettlebell. So by standing up in between feeding the kettlebell through the legs, you are alleviating that possibility and you are concentrating wholeheartedly on the stomach, on the lower back. Feel those muscles really activated. That is why I am talking so much because it cannot be done in a few seconds. It needs to be with consistent time under some form of tension. We have got another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and we are going to now lunge. As we lunge, we're gonna pass through the kettlebell. So we're gonna lunge, alternate legs, pass through the kettlebell. Lunge, alternate legs, pass through the kettlebell. Lunge, alternate legs, pass through the kettlebell. Nice, and we're gonna concentrate on doing this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and now you're going to lunge and pass the kettlebell over the knee. Pass the kettlebell over the knee. Use the momentum of the kettlebell to pull you back. Alternate, swap hands, swap kettlebell with the hand over. Swap hands and use the momentum on the way back to pull you up, get rhythm. Get the body's rhythm. And we're gonna continue this on for another 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. That's it, you keep the form nice and tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and well done. Well done, ladies and gents, well done. Have a breather, and we're gonna go into stretching. So well done, well done, well done. 
Right, so we're going to put on some calming music right now. So we want calm. Let's get the calm down. Well done. Well done. So what we want is calm. Calm. There we go. Get some calming music. Well done, ladies and gent, well done. So, we are going to be stretching. I've got a wave. Hello, Liz. Right then. So, upper body first. We're going to side bend, side bend, travel our finger, fingers down the thigh, down to the knee, as far as you can go. Try to keep the opposing shoulder suppressed. Don't try and lift it up, just keep it down. And once you are in your lowest position without your shoulders protruding forward, just hold and then your arm's gonna go up and then you're going to go into a deeper side bend. Deeper side bend. And then your arm's gonna go down your arm's gonna come up, and we're gonna lean you in, lean you in. So we're going automatically into the big wide stretch now. Getting those lats stretched, getting the obliques stretched, keeping that core nice and tight. Brilliant. And we're gonna hold that position for another five, four, three, two, one. And then I would like you to bring your arm down and then you're going to go into a back stretch all the way down, getting your hamstrings tight, so like a stiff legged thing. And then you're gonna walk with your hands, walk with your hands to keep your hands flat, try and keep your heels flat, and now you are in the downward dog position. So we're gonna hold the downward dog position. You're gonna feel your lats being activated, shoulders, wrists, all under some tension, but then push your heels back into the ground and the focus becomes on the calves. The focus gets on the hamstrings. The focus is the opening of the lower back. And from there, drop your knees down, put your hands a bit more further, and then put your thighs on the floor with your waist just about hovering over the mat and now you're going into the cobra. So we're going to the cobra stretch and we're going to hold the cobra stretch for five, four, three, two, one and then from there you're going to go into a cat stretch. So you can bring your knees slightly out, keep your hands where they are, push yourself right back Try and sit on your heels. Get those lats opened up, lower back opened up. And just tilt your hips to one side so that you open up the opposing lat. And then transfer that to the other side where you tilt your hips and your lats get popped out. Awesome. And then we go into a cow stretch, which is you on all fours. And then your upper back, your upper back gets stretched. And then drop your chest to the floor. So now we go into a child's pose. Drop your chest to the floor. Lower back is nicely sunk in. So your shoulder blades now feel somewhat collapsed. That's a child's pose. And then go into a cow stretch. So you're lifting your upper back over and tuck your stomach into your gut so you've got a piece of string from your belly button and it's fused to your spine. Pull that string in so that your belly button is fusing to your spine like vacuum pack. You can breathe as normal, you don't need to worry about your breath. And then let that go after five, four, three, two, one. And you're back in the child's pose back in the child's pose, 
And then what I want you to do in this pose is just widen your stance so that your knees are extended out fully. Bring your feet in, keep your hands where they are, and you're now into a frog stretch. And we're now gonna go into some mobilization. So where your hands are now, your shoulders should be directly over your hands. I want you to lean forward so your shoulders are just over your, your fingers. And then you're gonna come back so that your shoulders are over your wrists. And we are gonna go back and forth mobilizing. And this is the frog mobilization. Working the hips, shoulders, wrists. Awesome. We're gonna take a seat, gonna hold it, gonna hold it in that frog stretch for five, four, three, two, one. And then if you can get on your knees, bring yourselves up, bring one leg out, and then bring the arm up like you did in the beginning. Put your hand on the hip and just lean over, lean over, five, four, three, two, one, and then change sides. <coughs> hand on the opposing hip, the kneeling hip, the kneeling knee, kneeling knee, kneeling leg, and then arms go over and side stretch. Five, four, three, two, one, and then you get yourselves up. Big supine stretch, big supine stretch. Saturday shift, the body has been shifted. We are at 